I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Saturday, June 10th, our scripture reading is from the fourth chapter of Romans, the fourth, the verses 13 through 25. For the promise that he would inherit the world did not come to Abraham or to his descendants through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. <clears throat> if it is the adherents of the law who are to be their heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, neither is there violation. For this reason it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham, for he is the father of all of us. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. In the presence of the God in whom I believe, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. Hoping against hope, he believed that he would become the father of many nations according to what was said. So numerous shall your descendants be. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was already as good as dead, for he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb. No distrust, made him waver against concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, be fully, being fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. Therefore his faith was reckoned to him as righteousness. Now the words, it was reckoned to him, were written not for his sake alone, but for ours also. It will be reckoned to us who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead who was handed over to death for our trespass, trans, trespasses and was raised for our just, justification. <clears throat> Productivity or promise. Therefore his faith was reckoned to him as righteousness. Verse 22. If you want something done right, the saying goes, do it yourself. This statement is results oriented as is our culture, which measures our value in terms of, terms of productivity. Whether it is workplace metrics or a basket of laundry, we are constantly pushed to focus on what we accomplish and how well. The law is results oriented. It focuses on our ability to fill its expectations. By relying solely on our works leaves no room for the relationship of faith. Abraham did not live by productivity. He was old and could not make the promise happen. His righteousness did not come from busyness or action, but from trust in God's promise. We may have to meet workplace metrics and tend to chores, but our work value is not in our work. We are precious in our promised new life through Jesus, crucified and risen. God makes it so. We are not people of productivity, but of God's promises. Our prayer. God, help us trade the burden of our productivity for the grace of you give through our Lord Jesus. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.